what is up everybody oh right here and we are back with some more jotun slayer and we are continuing our class run series today we are going to focus mainly on running our class skills with just the berserker we've done builds where we ran thor freya and now we're just going to do a straight up class skill uh with the berserker stuff we're going to run their normal difficulties we'll do the modifiers and higher difficulty in another video those those will probably happen next but for now, let's just continue doing all the class abilities and see how well they work. Thor and Freya both worked out pretty well. So I'm assuming this one probably works relatively decent too. I guess we'll kind of see. But I think we do have enough meta progression now in the game to where I can beat the normal difficulty relatively easily. Okay, we'll do Berserker. Okay, we can do... Let's do the Swirling Axe. That's a pretty good ability. Alright, let's re-roll this. Okay, good. We got Berserker again. Okay, then let's do Cutting Edge. Uh, quick Roundhouse Swing. The Axe Throw, I don't really know how well that works i've tried running it before and it kind of glitches he, it, he doesn't throw any axes or at least i don't ever see him doing it so let's do the roundhouse that's a decent ability good close range ability okay more berserker let's do damage nearby enemies when entering rage yeah let's do that because we enter rage quite a lot Especially with our ability, um, with our shout, so that should do 10 extra damage. All right, we rerolled, we got Berserker again. Let's do... Um, I'm gonna... This one seems pretty good. Chance to trigger rage when taking damage. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Because that's gonna give us... That's gonna pair well with that other ability we just took, so... Okay, more Berserker. Uh, let's see. Replenishes. Let's do the replenish health on crit. Because there's going to be a few people that give us crit chance. See, there's that extra crit chance. Uh, but let's do... Let's focus more on the abilities. So when we get a chance to level one up, let's take it. Especially the spinning axes. I need to get multiple spinning axes here. Preferably XP. Okay, let's do the magnet. That didn't really pick up a lot, did it? Berserker again. Uh, let's see. Attack range. Set to reset cooldown. Chance to reset cooldown on one skill after critical hit. That sounds pretty good, too. Let's do that.
have a feeling that this build feels a little weak early game but it might have a good late game once you start stacking up crit a little bit more all right let's do attack damage Let's go get the other champion. Definitely do swirling axe. See, so if we can get a lot of swirling axes going with our crit cooldown, leveling all that up, it feels that it could be strong late. Let's do let's do the attack damage this time. Okay, so we got two minutes to just farm XP here for a little bit. Let's just do we'll just do the flat out 50% okay berserker again okay let's do a critical chance See, there we go. <laughs> Getting the crits and then having our abilities go off a couple times. That's where that's where this is going to look good. So hopefully we can build up our crit more. I know Thor has some abilities too that can upgrade our crit. All right, let's do Thor. Yeah, so, oh, that's the, so none of these are that. Let's do the max health. Actually, let's banish. Yeah, see, here you go. Increase this chance for critical hit and its damage. So let's do that. This is also one of those builds where it's probably going to be, be we're probably stronger the more enemies we have fighting us. See, so we can just shoot out all the axes because we're landing so many crits. Let's do Thor again. Um, 
Vanish. Alright, uh, well, we're gonna have to take this one then. Because we're not gonna. I'm gonna try to avoid taking any active abilities from other gods. See, I'm not, I, I swear, I don't know how the class skills and stuff work in this game. Because we only have two skills. I haven't seen any act, other active skills for our class, even though I know there's more. I just haven't seen them yet. So I don't know if you're limited to a certain amount per class or how that works. There's no real indication of it. You know, there's nothing that shows how many class abilities I can have or how many god skills I can have. Because, oh, so, yeah, because everything we get now is it's either an upgrade for our active or a passive ability. It's never it's never a new active ability. It's it seems that we're locked into these two. gains again uh let's do the soul stone the soul stones are for meta progressions Let's go Freya, see if she has any crit stuff. Nope. Double cast, though. We'll definitely do the double cast. So now we have a chance to do a lot of kind of a, a lot of double cast. And we have a chance to reduce our cooldown by landing a crit. And then Freya gives us a 10% chance to cast our spell again. See, yeah, see that now that <laughs> now that spinning axe is going ham. That's that's what I was looking for with this type of build. Okay, I'm going to do the experience. Okay, we'll go Freya again. Okay, so we're going to have to take the healing then. See, but then we can get other active abilities on the classes or for the gods, but we're not going to see any more active abilities for our class. So let's do, let's max out this cutting edge then. What the heck? <laughs> that, <laughs> I don't know what that was. That was some sort of some sort of uh, bug. OK, 
Okay, next objective in 25 seconds. 20 seconds. Okay, I'll do more Berserker. Let's see. Chance to trigger Rage when casting a skill. Yes. Feels that we should pretty much be in Rage constantly now. <laughs> That's cool. go Thor. Okay, so we're gonna have to take this one. Upon taking hits, there's a chance to strike multiple enemies with bolt with lightning bolt. So again, it, with our trying to stay away from other active abilities, that's what we gotta take. Yeah, see, here we go. We shine brightest when there's a ton of enemies around us. Berserker. Let's see. Chance to explode enemy when killed by attack. Deals de dash deals damage and throws away enemies. I'm not a huge fan of these ones. Let's do the chance to explode, I guess. Okay, let's hang out for a little bit, gain some more XP. There's gonna be another boss that shows up, so let's kill that boss first and then we'll go. Then we'll go fight the Jotun. But I do wanna gain some more XP here. Max level's 25. Let's go Thor. Oh no, we're gonna have to take an active ability. <laughs> oh man. We blew it. Skip. <laughs> I didn't have to take it. I could skip it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Who cares? I, I think I, I mean, I hope we're good. Uh, that's a bummer that I have to waste a level up like that. But I'm, I'm committing to the build where I'm not going to take a we're not going to taint this run by picking up a Thor ability. The passives are fine. I don't want any actives, though. Dang, he got wrecked. Alright, let's do... Ooh, god skill upgrade when we don't have any gods. I guess we'll take the 10 gold. Okay, let's go fight the Jotun. Let's see how we do on the Jotun in a single... Oh my gosh, that's a horrible, horrible start. <laughs> that was an absolutely garbage start. He landed on me, and then I took all that damage, all that collision damage from all the other enemies, too. You know, this is this is working out relatively well because there are a lot of enemies. I didn't I guess I didn't really realize how many enemies. Oh, my gosh. 
That was so close. I'm telling you, it's that collision damage. It's deadly. Okay, let's do Thor. Uh, all skills deal more damage. I was hoping to get the extra eight HP. See, he's not even he's not even hitting me. He's just walking into me, though, and I'm just taking a ton of absolute ton of damage from him. Come on. He's like, there we go. <laughs> not the prettiest run. That wasn't the prettiest run for sure, but th it worked. We are doing pretty good damage. That was actually a really high damaging build. Uh, 34K from our swirling axes. At least the level three axes and then cutting edge 12 and a half at its final final level. 16 and a half minutes. That was a pretty good build. We definitely I felt that we weren't doing a good enough job keeping up on our health, though, as we were with some of the other builds. So I'm not sure why that was because we were keeping up our rage almost all the time. And with when you're in rage, uh, you get higher HP regeneration. So I'm not sure why our health wasn't keeping up as well as some of the other builds. And then we also had this one, too. So replenishes health upon critical hit. We should have been keeping up with our HP a lot. Maybe we were just I don't know. We just kind of got stuck in bad situations, too. But there we go. That is our class skill run. And unfortunately, we only got to pick two class skills. I don't know why. Or class active abilities, whatever you want to say. We only got two active abilities. I, I don't know how that works. So there we go, though. We did it. We won pretty good. Uh, next video, we'll try hard difficulty and then maybe we'll add in some of the modifiers. So we'll see how it goes. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy these videos, please like subscribe to the channel and I hope you have a great rest of your day.